Come between us And no, it ain't what you think This ain't a case of infidelity Pushing me to the brink You're stuck inside a bidding war You're arguing Overpriced, you hardly even acknowledge my existence when you cradle your device. Blue teeth, strained eyes, you bite your lip and you bow your head. I only wish you'd pay as much attention to me when we're in bed. I mean, I'm wearing next to nothing. I even put on a little spice. I long for you to hold me in your arms, but instead you cradle your device. said, come on, let's take a holiday. Don't you think that would be nice? Give you one more minute. We'll go on and cradle your device. Cradle your device. produce this new record of mine if you don't mind me saying real quick a um, uh, record by the name of uh, Grass Punks and um, only nine songs on the record and uh, I think it clocks in at about 20-25 minutes so it's a pretty pretty fast listen and I think that's the, the whole point of it hopefully it'll be catchy and you'll want to listen to it over and over again it's my new it's my new method in uh, creating records anyway we um, we began recording uh, just simply sitting around Sean's um, um, uh, a kitchen table in Hollywood, California. That's sort of how it all began. And we started off with uh, with the song Cradle Your Device. So as I was telling Robin earlier, um, the, the potential of just the two guitars together just really kind of set, set the tone for, for recording the rest of the record. I'd like to switch gears a little bit and uh, do a song entitled Stuck on the Roof Again. And uh, a quick story about it. Um, all of these songs do have stories. I, I'll I'll be brief, though. This will be the only story I tell before the song. It's dedicated to Marilyn Haggerty, who was a columnist in the great city of Grand Forks, North Dakota. And uh, um, she is a writer and lover of many things, but uh, her métier is she's a food critic. And she prides herself on um, being the first person in the Grand Forks, North Dakota area to welcome uh, the, the newest restaurant in town. She's always the first person uh, in line and waiting to, be, waiting to be served so she can write something about the food and the service. She always has something really nice to say, Marilyn Haggerty. Um, but a couple of years ago, she uh, uh, welcomed the newest restaurant in, to the Grand Forks area, which was the Olive Garden. She wrote a review of this uh, chain restaurant, and um, it was released 
And um, thousands upon countless, thousands of people read this review. And um, the reaction wasn't too good at first. Uh, but then once people started to know her story, um, they championed her and they championed what she was doing. And um, she's, um, I think, in her 80s now. And when she wrote this, she was in her 80s. The review for the Olive Garden really set her up on this next tier. So for the first time in her life, she was reaching international fame and she was getting a little taste of the honey. And she um, made some pretty influential friends out of the bit, including Anderson Cooper. She was on his program. She got a book deal out of the deal. And uh, Anthony Bourdain penned the foreword, so she's doing all right. In fact, I think right now she's on a carnival cruise. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> um, there's another part to the song, uh, which um, maybe I'll, I'll just go ahead and... And uh, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and say, um, in North Dakota, we have, this is a problem with me is that I would much rather just talk instead of play, so <laughs> you're kind of in for the long run here. Um, um, but in North Dakota, uh, we have to climb up on top of our roofs at some point, <clears throat> maybe a couple of times over the winter, to shovel the snow off the roof. Uh, and this is because um, the temperature fluctuates and um, ice will form and, and um, uh, it will expand and it'll wreak havoc on your on your shingles. But Marilyn, <clears throat> the story goes, um, put a ladder up to her roof when she was, I think, 80 or 81 and crawled up and there she, she was. She was shoveling off her roof. And this big gust of wind came along and it blew her ladder down so she was stuck on the roof. And um, at 5 o'clock on a Tuesday in February, um, you could be in trouble. You could be stuck on the roof and nobody will hear your call and, and it would just be a very... Um, a uh, horrible fate to suffer, getting stuck on the roof and freezing to death, if you, if you don't mind me saying. Anyway, Marilyn made it down. Somebody came by and she made it down. And I wrote this song, Stuck on the Roof Again. Yes, I've been here before But just not at this stage Where freedom is reduced to an icy frame cage Here comes the wind A sweep across this frigid place Oh, Boreas Wait for me to shield my face I'm at your mercy, my friend I had just removed one last Bit of snow mound when like that Something brought my ladder down to the ground I'm up here My back against the chimney wall I'm not within distance For anyone to hear my call Oh, what a mess I'm in Stuck on the roof again I could 
courageous enough to close my eyes and take a leap of faith. Oh, how will it end? Stuck on the roof. Sean Watkins on the guitar, everybody. Um, I think I've got the voice for it today. Uh, <clears throat> it's usually a little bit early in the morning for me to be <clears throat> getting up into the high register, but I'll give this one a try. <clears throat> a song entitled, um, Today is a Bright New Day. Tempting to skip the coffee and go ahead and grab a Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> That's in room temperature. Just the way I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm resting with my back against the wall in the place where we first met the Drayton North Dakota Dairy Queen should be packed this time of year I am wondering where everybody went and at my spine the names in the wood We are part of it When I finished carving it You called it messy But good Today's a bright new day Today's a bright new day supposed to say if you want to make it through no matter the avenue or how hard I try I cannot shake these blues and when the door a bell It seems to highlight my situation There's no one I can really talk to and I've got so much to tell
I'm drinking malted milk. My eyes are shut tight. I'm not expecting you to appear when I open them. All I want to do is get away from the Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks a lot for listening. Yep.